In the UK in the mid to late 90s, it was impossible to escape Michael Flatley. But if you don't know who he is, he used to dance like this to stuff in shows called River Dance and Lord of the Dance. 20 years after all that died down, he attempted to come back to the big time with this film that he wrote, directed and starred in himself. And yeah, like most vanity projects, this is shit. This is Blackbird. I'm Jay Harang and I've wasted hours of my life watching terrible films. You should subscribe. So this is Victor Blackley and he's the main character. I'm just going to call him Michael Flatley because it's impossible to even imagine him as anyone else. So they're at this funeral and Michael Flatley's wearing a rubbish hat and crying because the funeral's for his fiance. This gang is a group of secret service operatives called the Chieftains. It includes Michael Flatley, this guy from Game of Thrones and Patrick Bergen from Sleeping with the Enemy. Then there's this guy Matiti and this woman Kaz whose sole aim in life is probably to get with Michael Flatley. What? Yeah, every woman in this film seems to be in love with him. Look at his dead fiance. In real life, he's not getting anyone like that. The lack of self-awareness here is incredible, but more on that later. While Michael flatly cries in the rain, the rest of the chieftains are at the bar talking about how amazing he is. No one can do what he does. And they're worried he's going to leave the chieftains. As Michael flatly walks off, this woman Vivian stares out the window at him. She's one of the chieftains too. Oh yeah, and she's also in love with Michael flatly Of course. Right, so now it's ten years later, and I'll after a pointless action scene in London, we're at the Blue Moon Hotel in the Caribbean. Oh, look, it's Michael Flatley. He's the owner. Three former chieftains are working there too. Game of Thrones, Matiti and Kaz. And see this hot woman singing? Yeah, well, her name's Miranda. And you'll never guess who she's in love with. Are you serious? Yep. Loads of the guests are dodgy business people or criminals, but Michael Flatley doesn't care because he's left that life behind. What they do with their lives is their business. I'm going to apologise now for my appalling impression of Michael Flatley, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to keep doing it. Oh. The next morning, Michael Flatley comes down for breakfast with a new rubbish hat. Matiti tells him that he's concerned about Blake Molyneux, a guest who's checking in today because he's got a pretty bad reputation. And here he is. Oh, look, it's Eric Roberts. He's here with his fiance. Hang on, that's Vivian. Remember her? She was that woman at the funeral who was in love with Michael Flatley. Game of Thrones is clearly surprised to see Vivian, and this doesn't go unnoticed by Eric Roberts. Do you know my fiance? No. Oh, okay then. Game of Thrones sees Michael Flatley later and tries to tell him that Vivian is here, but he's too busy with hotel business to listen. Later on, when Eric Roberts is too busy with work to talk to her about what colour dress she should wear, Vivian goes downstairs and sees Michael Flatley. Up in Eric Roberts' room, he's had a call from this guy, Farouk, who's coming to the hotel in two days to collect the package. I wonder what that is. That's not true, actually. I don't care. This is shit. Downstairs, Vivian sees Michael Flatley again. I'm here with my fiancé. Your fiancé? I'll come and find you later and explain everything. She can't explain now because Eric Roberts' bodyguard, Quan, is always watching her. Game of Thrones tells Michael Flatley that he's pretty worried about Vivian because Eric Roberts is bad news. Vivian gets a bit pissed off that Eric Roberts has his bodyguard follower everywhere and he's like, okay, I'll tell Quan to back off. Later that night, Kaz calls Patrick Bergen in London and asks him to run a check on Eric Roberts and he's like, what? Eric Roberts is at the hotel? He's extremely dangerous and this is our chance to bring him down but we need Michael Flatley involved. She's like, oh, but he's left that life behind and he's like, just get him involved. Game of Thrones has done his own background check on Eric Roberts and even though all he's found out is that he builds schools for underprivileged kids, something doesn't sit right. Let them be about their business. They only plan to stay a few days. Then Michael flatly asked Vivian to dance. No, not like that. Like this. Everyone looking can tell there's something between them. Aren't you going to say something? I just did. What? That made absolutely no sense. This is shit. It is. <laughs> Kaz has run a report on Eric Roberts and Game of Thrones and Matiti tell him to read it. And here we go. Eric Roberts is part of a secret society of war criminals whose aim is to start wars in key territories. And he's at the hotel to sell arms to African warlords. What? This is ridiculous. Game of Thrones says he thinks Eric Roberts stole a secret formula that can kill loads of people. But Michael Flatley's like, I'm not interested. I've left that life behind. Really? Really? Over in the dining room, Vivian is complaining because Eric Roberts has to work tomorrow. I've come here so we can spend some time... <laughs> Ooh. Okay, yeah, looks like she'll be spending tomorrow on her own then. Yes. That night, Miranda goes up to Michael Flatley's room and takes all her clothes off, but he's like, sorry, not interested. 
Why? No idea, but that's what's happening. The next morning, Vivian is still in a mood without Roberts about working today, so she ignores him. For that, he sends Quan out to follow her. Downstairs, Game of Thrones is still trying to convince Michael Flatley that they need to do something about Eric Roberts and his secret formula. But it's the same answer. It's none of your business. I've left that life behind. There's this whole thing about how Game of Thrones is somehow responsible for the death of Michael Flatley's fiance 10 years ago, but it's so boring and I don't care. Anyway, Game of Thrones gets in a mood and storms off. But what's this? Vivian is escaped from Quan, gets into Michael Flatley's car and tells him to drive off quickly. Cut to Eric Roberts on this boat. His banker tells him he doesn't have money, so Quan throws him off the boat. I don't know who this is, but... You can't throw people off the boat. Excuse me? <laughs> okay, never mind. He's dead now. On this beach somewhere, Vivian is explaining to Michael Flatley how she ended up engaged to Eric Roberts. Apparently the agency made her spy on him, but she thought he was all right, so now they're getting married. Oh, I see. Then she's like, it's been 10 years since your fiance died. How about I marry you instead? But he's like, no, I'm all right, thanks. When they get back to the hotel, Game of Thrones decide to approach Vivian directly. I need to talk to you about your fiance. It's about him. He's not a good man, Vivian. You have to get out. Seriously. He's like, he's not here on holiday. He's here to sell secrets to war criminals in Africa. But she's like, fuck off, Game of Thrones. This is ridiculous. Then Michael Flatley turns up and sees all this. He's like, you need to leave. You can't be harassing my customers, even if they are selling secrets to war criminals in Africa. What they do with their lives is their business. Back in her room, Vivian starts thinking there may be something in all this. So she looks through Eric Roberts' briefcase and finds what I assume is the secret formula. She's like, Eric, I'm going downstairs to get some water. But she's actually looking for Michael Flatley. She sees Miranda at the bar and asks her where he is and she tells him he's probably on his private balcony and yeah he is she shows him what she found in Eric Roberts briefcase this holds the formula it can kill millions of people right so surely now he's gonna get involved Vivian you know I can't get involved in this come again I mean, yeah, I suppose he needs to focus on hotel stuff. What about me? Yeah, the millions of people who could be killed and you. She's like, come on, you're the only person who can stop him. I really don't understand why nobody is reporting this to any of the authorities or why everyone thinks that Michael Flatley is the only person on earth who can deal with this. This is shit. Anyway, he's like, no, I've left that life behind. And then they kiss. But oh no, Miranda has seen them. And because she's so in love with Michael Flatley, she goes downstairs to tell Eric Roberts what she's seen. Later, Eric Roberts Roberts goes downstairs to meet Farouk's assistant, Ahmed. He's supposed to hand over the secret formula, but Ahmed's turned up without the cash. So Eric wants to meet Farouk in person to do the deal. Okay, now this is shit. Eric Roberts sees Michael Flatley and sets up this high stakes poker game. The dialogue here is atrocious. It's as if the script was written by a 12 year old. It's supposed to be some sort of James Bond situation, but it reminds me of Austin Powers. Anyway, while this is going on, Miranda tells Matiti to go upstairs to Vivian's room. But when he gets there, it's a setup. So he's dead. Back downstairs. I heard they call you the Blackbird. The Blackbird is dead. Your fiance's death caused you to retire. Can't imagine the strain that must have put on your heart. I wonder what you love more, women, money, or playing God. Then Michael flatly reveals his hand. It's a straight flush and he wins all the money. Yeah. Kaz comes to the table to tell Michael flatly that Matiti is dead. And when Michael flatly goes upstairs, Eric Roberts grabs Vivian and drives off. Later, when they're all really upset about Matiti, Miranda comes in and she's like, oh, I'm sorry for telling Eric Roberts about you and Vivian. I was just really jealous. And he's like, don't worry about it. In walks Quan to get the secret formula. Then there's this fight. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, apparently he's dead. Michael flatly feels bad about this, so he goes to the beach and gets drunk. Then he wakes up in the morning and heads straight to this church to confess his sins. And I'm about to sin again. Ooh, you're odd. Then Miranda walks into the church to tell him that Eric Roberts' gang have got Vivian. And they know you killed Quan. You must give them back what is ours, or you'll never see her again. Do you know where they are? Yes. That was a bit weird. Anyway, now he's off to get Vivian back. Eric Roberts, however, is one step ahead and is waiting at this boatyard with Farouk. He knows Michael Flatley will hand over the formula in exchange for Vivian. And here he is, unarmed. I'm firing on all cylinders. Yeah. And what's this? He's walking off behind this boat. Well, of course he's fine. He's Michael Flatley. Let her go. What did you say? I said let her go. I'm not gonna say it again. So they let her go. Eric Roberts is like, okay, where's the secret formula? But Michael flatly gives it to Farouk, who just fucks off. Why? No idea, but that's what's happened. Then Game of Thrones turns up and he's like, I'm not letting you have all the fun. Then this happens. Shall we dance? Ooh, I wonder how that ended. 
No, I don't, Ashley. I don't care. This is shit. An unspecified time later, we're back at the hotel. Game of Thrones is still alive. He's got his arm in a sling. Does he own it now? Is Michael Flatley dead? Farouk wasn't given the real secret formula. Patrick Bergen's got it. And yeah, Michael Flatley's still alive, wearing another rubbish hat and staring at his fiance's gravestone. And look who's arrived. It's Vivian. So everyone's really happy and that's the end of the film. So until next time. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And please consider joining my Patreon. There's a link in the description. Thank you.